welcome, welcome, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Excuse me, you need to put your phone on. Okay. She's quick. They're not even playing detective anymore. And they managed to dodge us. But now we know for sure that they are the criminals. They have a suck it. That absolutely reeks of chocolate and from the little bit. We can see of the faces, they are beautiful ladies. They are the chocolate fairies. Throw enough mud at the wall and some of it will stick. Now give me all your chocolate. I'm not even playing detective anymore. These folk from the surface are scary. They are not like anything we have seen before. We have encountered an unknown species. She's just a badass. What are you fellas chit cat chatting about? What? Jump and let me see those coins and chocolate laying from your pockets because I know you're hiding them. She's just a badass. You want chocolate? What kind of cat are you? You look pretty different from us. Maybe it's the chocolate, but you smell different. One, you two. Well, it's just chocolate. Why does it matter? Daniels, am I supposed to accept this? I'm seeing quite a few crying men for some reason. I was seriously bawling what could have happened on this floor. I have a really, really bad feeling. About this, we have got to find Winnie and the others quick. Don't move. They're yeah, faster than I expected, but they are going, uh, not going anywhere. The great detective will sniff them out. It's Winnie. They are being chased. We didn't, didn't make it in time. Are the hunters they have been talking uh, about? Anya and Chloe, what the heck are they doing? We got to do something about this. Yeah, it's good to know that we are dealing with someone we know, at least. Let's try. Rizzo Vell. The hell did Vells go? I'm going to hunt you to the end of the oath if I need to. Give me all those chocolates. Who is it? The boys, minions, one and two. Are you trying to interfere? We are not Bell's minions. Yeah, we are not. Truth is, we are the ones who were giving out chocolate. Oh, she can smell. We are the criminals. Why are you staring at us like we are some kind of ants marching in the line in mud? Very funny. On enough to fool the great detective. I don't smell any chocolate whatsoever from you girls. You stink of lies, I can smell it. Sometimes this idiot makes me think she's actually a genius. Do a little magic eater. Whoa. An empty impact? Just shot without showing himself, that's pretty cheap. <laughs> it's not like we will have any other options. If we can't trick them, we need to do whatever it takes to give way and the goal is time to escape. No one can stand in the way of my church for this chocolate. You'll pay for this. Detectors, voices, voices. Do 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 do. Boom.
Fancy Feast. The detectives have stopped chasing us. It's so far away, so it's hard to see, but it looks like they are bowing. Someone must be getting in the way. Not someone is. Fells. Fells. And Lillian Harumim. How, I don't know how to say your name. That cloak fella shows Sean. I don't know if it's magic, but it keeps shooting these creepy shockwaves. Plus, it keeps appearing and disappearing. I can't smell it. What's going on? Close, I have no scent. I have neither flesh nor skin. Yeah, you're basically bones. <laughs> you are indeed, Bonnie. Stop calling me bones. It's starting to hurt my feelings. Even if you are just bones, you are surprisingly strong. That's proof that you are f a formal philosopher. Let's hope that this will be enough time. What are you doing? Who are these lot? You are supposed to catch the boyfriend stealing that tried to seduce John. What's taking you so long? We can't wait any longer. Are you here just slacking off? Ah, oh, these adventures, uh, who the cat are you, girls? How could you not recognize who hired you? Remember why we are here in the first place, you catty idiot? We are the squeaky kittens to hire us? Who are you calling a kitten? I'm inlated, my pet. Pollen brain cells are regaining color again. You kittens, I wasn't here slacking off. Huh? Because... These three are the criminals who had been given chocolate to your boyfriends, and I have caught them. What? They'll do whatever it takes to seduce your boyfriends. You're right, they did say that they are the criminals. What the? My god, you are one slow kitten. And I guess that's right. They are the criminals, the boyfriend stealers. Did Fells do something? Look at that, Renard, she's prettier than you. She's got nice coves. Yup. Can't underestimate that poem. Too, she may be tiny, but she's smart. She knows that John was has a thing for petite girls. Huge misunderstanding. And that one we're gonna go on coke. I'm sure she's a beautiful girl and is hiding herself. The hooded one is always the most dangerous. She must be as beautiful as a goddess. That's not true. Yeah, yeah, you're yeah, just bones. Stop calling me that. And look what uh what they are wearing. They are using Valentine's Day as an excuse to get all dyed up, dolled up. They are guilty. Eek! This is starting to get a little heated. They all pay. Excuse me. For going against me, the great detective Chloe. By the way, those cat people were wasting time arguing about who would get the one to seduce John. What? What the cat are you saying? Look at them, they are just pretty fest. festival. festival. Too, don't you think? I'm sure the moment they fa find the man that they like, they they are going to steal him like the sneaky cats they are. Stunned, look bad. As a beast person, you can smell it, can't ya? Those two smell much more of chocolate than we do. You're right, the chocolate smell is coming from the detectives. 
it's what these detective dudes do. <laughs> and they betray the client from a man they truly sneaky cats. That's enough clucky. <laughs> For <laughs> of a form, formal philosopher, that's scary. Impressive, you're a skilled speaker. What's going on, yeah? Thank you, stupid cat. We have been trapped. You are dead, detectives. Yeah, both of you. Guilty, guilty. John is mine. Wait, they are all in love with John? Jeez, John has a ham? I'm scared. <laughs> Who knew John had a hair? Hair. Too easy. Oh, one shot, one kill. Time for the boss battle, buddy. Push. And a uh, Kadoosh. And last but not least, the boss it themselves. And a Kadoosh. Kukush. And a Fufush. Boom. So I have this story and two more stories. Great. I'm here, I'm back again. See you for chocolate, no one was waiting for you. Shut up every guy dreams of getting chocolate. You folks are, excuse me, you're hoping that you'd somehow end up getting chocolate from a pretty girl too, aren't you? You guys, listen, chocolate is what defines the guy's power. If you haven't received a single chocolate from someone who's not part of your family, it means you are a massive loser. Take that back. The more chocolate I get, the more I get worshipped by my fellows. That's so cool, Maud. You are totally ahead of your time. Sorry, I've always been so lame. I'm gonna follow you till death. Let me carry your bags. <laughs> yeah, as if that would ever happen. A Wookiee kid will kneel before me. See. Out of his mind. Also, does he have a crush on Lil Wookie or something? Anyway, I hate to walk. What? I hate to walk in in groups as you have to share the reward. But what matters the most is right now is chocolate. Come with me, everybody. Out of my way! God. Move over, or don't just stay in there like a cat in headlights. Hey, I've seen you two from the pub of fertility. What are you girls doing here? What's going on? They are 
They have gone bazook, they have like hooked, fellows done it. How dare ya? Don't be mad, we have enough problems ourselves. This isn't funny at all. They are destroying anything that gets in the way. Yeah. That whole what the cat is going on. Once my chocolate, I dropped it. When you crashed into me, give it back to me. Give it back to me. Rations, rations. No, my chocolate. Shut it. I don't know. You are the put holy main of guests we banned from the pub. And there's chocolate on the ground, munch. Full chocolate in my life, and you snatched it away. More than everyone, are you all right? Be careful. There are enemies here targeting our chocolate. What the heck are you doing here? Excuse me. Stop talking with food in your mouth, damn it. Give me back my chocolate. What are you doing? We are detectives and we are here to cut the crap. You chocolate eaters are the worst, most evil chocolate at eating scoundrels of all. Don't forget about us. Mimia. Mimia. Why is, why is this helping? Three sided battle has risen from my desire for chocolate. This is getting out of hand. But hey, isn't this our chance? Let them fight each other, and in the meantime, we can meet up with Ray and the others and escape. No, we can't. Lily Fells, ah, god damn it! How is she, how is she so dumb? The heck is that dokey little fox doing? She failed to escape from the chaos, and she's getting beaten up and harassed. I don't think everyone was expecting full shower in here, but I must help them. All right, let's just get this over with. Ah, uh, the last boss. The last boss. And that's all she will. Meow. Munch gulp. My chocolate. It's not even yours in the fool's place. Ugh. Are we alright? Let's get you out of here. Retreat, retreat. What happened out there here? Seems they have torn into infighting. I feel bad for fellas, but this is our chance for you. Winnie, it's time to escape. Hold it, Ray. I don't want everybody to fight. We didn't do all of this just to make them fight. Will you, will you just look at this? It's not like there's anything we can do to stop it. If we go out there with a proper plan, it may just make things worse. We are monsters. We are outcasts. I need your help. Oh my god, what the fuck is she planning to do? It's cat a cat ostific. What the fuck? Say whatever you want, but stop eating my chocolate. You have caused enough trouble already. Sneaky cat fooling with my John and you, tiny foxy and cloaky. You're all going down. 
completely out of hands. No Mobius and Tank binds us here. I cannot believe this is real. I'll take my last breath. What? Can you do that? <laughs> What's this? Fellas, it's raining small packages. Can't be. Chocolates. It's raining chocolate. What the cat is going on? The chocolate paradise. <laughs> Something flying high above. Is that William Thew? Everyone, please stop fading. We just wanted you all to be happy. We just wanted to see everyone smile. We only wanted to become friends with everyone. It's really. We have got. We have won out of chocolate, but we will be sure to prepare more next Valentine's Day. I won't smile and get along until then. Could it possibly be a chocolate fair? This is stupid. Where, what were we even fighting for? There's no way such idiots could be chasing John. There's no way the sneaky cat would prepare this much chocolate, in fact. Oh, how sweet of these chocolates. Oh, these are so tasty. There's no way someone who makes chocolates this tasty could be evil. They've all stopped fading. They're all smiling now. The power of chocolate, or should I say the power of sincerity. Oh, Winnie. Seems Winnie is going up a bit by bit. She sure is. Tick. Yeah, sweet. Look how sweet these chocolates are. Everyone, let's just drop our weapons. It's Valentine's Day, for God's sake. Winnie, miss ya, and I miss you too, really. I'm so glad that we were able to meet again. We're happy to see you too. You see, we have some m more chocolate back in the village. It's just for you too, Belle, and others. For us, yeah, we have obligatory chocolates for everyone. And true love chocolates, but we would like to give those who we truly care for. We were saving those true love chocolates for all of you. Obligatory and true love, huh? I believe we have got the meaning correct. To the village should act that I can give them to you. Alright, I guess we can do that. You want to know to take a detour after all this ha that's happened? And others would appreciate a little souvenir to you. You can spend a little longer in the dungeon. Thank you, Lily. Love ya, Lily. Winnie, stop hugging me. He 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 he. I know that what I don't. I what I know what I'm supposed to say in this situation. Happy Valentine's Day. Alright, time for the last chapter. The next prologue. A chocolate fairy. Before I ask you to explain what on earth that is, Revere AIDS, would it be rude for me to ask why you two, you two are dressed like that? Shouldn't have to ask, it's always thanks to Loki. Growl, by making Revue and Ace disguise himself as men, they will get chocolate. 
and I'll get right day gifts from them. Oh, how evil I am now. You two should get dressed right away. <laughs> Said Loki. Things seem quite different this time, but as aside, I wasn't expecting you to give in and wave that kind of dress with Viria. It was a setup, Loki. You said she'd take care of the crowd of chocolate delivering elves. I shouldn't be have believed her. Once everything was over, she said she needed some thinning and torn, or she'd call the elves back to do what they were doing. She cried, ducking me, and cried more. Looks like someone's starting to learn how to ask favors. I should keep that in mind and be careful. And on the same way, we must be the ones preparing the return gift for the chocolates. Sorry, I have interrupted you, but I can't talk to myself. Wait, the chocolate phase. Seems no one's seen them, but some say they have heard the voices. There are voices that actually receive chocolates from them. Especially male adventures. Of course, their chocolate fairies makes sense to think that the guards are playing playing some games again. Either way, it doesn't seem like it's got anything to do with the incident we are currently focusing focusing on. What incident? The guild forced us, Loki, familiar, to take care of it. Take care of what? Number of high class adventures, including class two adventures, have gone missing. This is going to be a pain. To be continued. All right then. Well then. Thank you all.